Hello everyone, I am Rod and I am the Game Design Instructor for the Academy of Entertainment Arts over at Dixie Hollins High School. If you are one of my students, it's Mr. Flowers to you, and welcome to this video tutorial. Hello everyone, we are back. It's been a while, I apologize for the time, um, life happens, but uh, we are back inside of our tutorial here on how to set up uh, the inventory system. And in this particular tutorial we're going to go over how to um, get our sword and our bow and arrow uh, functioning. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And as just a recap from last time, we do have an inventory that we can use and uh, we can pick up items and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some stuff. I'm going to hop into my inventory and what we're going to be setting up today is uh, a way to select our items so that we can equip them. In a lot of games, you actually have an equip item slot. So if you ever played like Diablo or um, I'm trying to think of other games that have like a drag and drop sort of um, system here, but uh, uh, like Baldur's Gate or those sort of things, uh, when you uh, click on an item, you can put it in a uh, slot specified for equipping. We're not going to set up a specified slot. I'll let you guys do that on your own. But what we will do is set up a way that we can click on an item and it'll represent whether or not it is um, equipped or not. So like if I were to click on this arrow, you know, I can't equip an arrow, so that's not going to happen. I can't equip a key. However, if I uh, click on my sword here, you can see that I get this nice red box outline and this is going to represent whether or not it is equipped. And if I exit my inventory, you can see right there there's my sword and I can of course left or right, I'm holding my sword and if I uh, click, I can swing with it. That works. And then after we get done with doing the sword, we'll also do the same thing to the uh, to the bow. So I can click on the bow here, and you can see it'll switch. And now I have my bow ready, and I can of course shoot my arrows. Okay. So without further ado, let's get to uh, Kraken. Go ahead and close this. Let's go over to our object game. That's where we're going to start off. Inside of our object game, go into the create event, and we're going to add a few variables. The variable we're going to add to here is going to be an equip slot. So we have our number of slots, our slot uh, X and Y, position, and all that good stuff. In here somewhere, it doesn't matter what the order is, just go ahead and add an equip slot. I'm going to do it down at the bottom. Uh, just before my inventory uh, size is declared. I'm going to do uh, EQP underscore slot X. I'm going to place that at zero. And then same thing, EQP underscore slot Y. I will also place that to zero. We're going to use this to represent the position in the inventory that is going to be uh, considered to be equipped. Okay. Once that's in here, we're going to jump over into the step event. So I'm going to go up here, grab the step event, and inside of here we have our state machine. And I'm going to scroll down to where we're inside of the inventory. That's here. And go all the way down to where we have um, our drop item. You see our little drop item piece of code here. And we have this wonderful loop that allows us to, um, if we're inside the inventory, if we hit like the V key, we can drop an item out and all that good stuff. And then here's the a little bit further down, we have a drop item with a mouse, and so on. So inside of this drop item with mouse setup, I'm actually going to make a, um, a spot right inside of this piece. So we have this, uh, it says, you know, if the mouse is greater than x1, less than x2, and so on. This is what checks to see if our mouse pointer is inside of a uh, inventory slot. So I'm going to use this uh, piece again. Instead of having to write this a second time. I'm just going to use it again and put my code sort of on top of this. So just above this body here, I'm going to make a new spot. And I'm going to make a comment. Um, this is going to be equip item and this is going to be drop item. And if you want to clean this up, like this is going to be we can say equip slash uh, equip or drop item with mouse. 
And the setup is going to be about the same. So we're going to have this little piece here that says if uh, you click a button, so if mouse um, check button pressed. And in this case, I'm going to use um, my left mouse button. For the dropping, for the picking up and dropping of the item, we use the right mouse button. So in this case, I'm going to use the left. So MB underscore uh, left. Open parenthesis, or uh, going to open brace, closing brace, and we're going to wrap some of the code here. So the part that's going to go here is actually this piece, this uh, if inventory uh, cursor x cursor y, this is going to go here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this piece. Drop that in. And we're going to do a similar check that we did before. So this piece is going to do pretty much the same thing it did down here. We're doing a check. We're checking that if when we click um, the inventory slot that we're in is not an empty slot because we wouldn't want to equip an empty space. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this. And then inside of here, we're going to add in a check for what item can be equipped. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. You can create a script that runs through every item and you can um, give each item a, a little a variable that checks whether or not it's equipped. Um, or if it's equipable, say like a, a, a key would not be equipable, uh, as would not be like a potion or an arrow, but uh, a sword you could you could equip, or a um, a shield you might be able to equip. So you could go through and make a list of those. Uh, in this particular case, since we don't have a lot of items, I'm just going to check each one. But if you had a large body of items, you would certainly want to uh, create a list for that. So all I want to do is start out with an if statement. So I'm going to say global dot inventory open brace uh, that's going to be inventory cursor x inventory cursor y closing brace and we're going to check um, so if we're not in an empty slot we're now going to look and see if we're inside of a um, an object or an item that cannot be equipped so we're going to say if it's not equal to item list dot and then the items that we could not equip so if I look at my item list here uh, I cannot equip an arrow I cannot equip a key and I cannot equip a potion so if I'm not one of these three pieces then we're going to equip something so I'm going to say um, I'll do potion for the first one it doesn't really matter which and then I'm going to say and I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, this body all the way to global. That way I don't have to write it again. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to hit paste. Now remember this is all one if statement. We're going to wrap this as one giant if statement. You could keep it as one line, but it's harder to see that way. So we have if global inventory is not equal to our potion and our inventory slot is not equal to a key. So item list dot key. And then we're going to paste the last one. I'm going to get rid of this and at the end. This is going to be a closing parenthesis. And then this last item in my list is going to be uh, the arrow. Okay. And you can see that this parenthesis is the closing parenthesis for that one. So this is one large if statement here. So if our object is not one of these objects, then we're going to equip it. So I'm going to come underneath it. I'm going to do an open brace, closing brace, and now we have the beginnings of our if statement. So just like we did down here where we have, um, if we're dropping an item, we have it where it says um, our, Im our image index is going to get whatever is inside the inventory. We're going to do that the same thing except we're going to place this value, whatever is inside the inventory slot, we're going to drop that into a variable for the player. We're going to call that variable equipped. So I'm going to say object player dot equipped. I'm going to set that equal to uh, this variable right here. So our global inventory um, and whatever is inside that. So that's going to be inventory oops, global dot 
inventory. If I can type. Open brace. INV underscore cursor X. INV underscore cursor Y. Closing brace. So whatever this slot is, is going to go into here. So if this slot is not one of these, then it's probably a bow, or it's probably a sword, or a shield, or whatever. So whatever that is currently here, is going to go here. And then we're going to actually do some code inside the player to determine which one it is, and then which one to display properly. After we have that set, we're going to set the slot. So go ahead and give these um, a bit of a comment. I'm going to go ahead and say on this one, uh, pass uh, inventory item to player, or instead of instead of inventory item, I'll say equipped item. Equipped item to player, and this one's going to get the slot. So uh, set equipped slot, and this is going to be our EQP slot X, and that's going to be whatever our inventory cursor X was. So that's going to be INV cursor X. And then our EQP slot Y is going to be whatever our inventory cursor Y was. And that's pretty straightforward. Um, if you want any other comments on here, we could just put a check to say, you know, if it's not empty. So I'll say if uh, slot is not empty. And then down here, I'm going to say if slot is not, um, or I'll say if item is not hmm, equipable. And then down here we'll pass it on. So you might be wondering why do we have an if statement here that checks if it's empty, and then an if statement here that checks if each of these slots is a is an item that cannot be equipped. Why do we not just make this one? Why do we not make this if statement and this if statement one giant statement? And the reason for that is we want to be able to unequip an item by clicking on an empty spot. So we're going to use this um, piece here to take advantage of that. That way you don't have to write any additional code. So down here, right after uh, the closing brace, so this if brace, if I grab that, all the way down here, we have this brace here. I'm going to say else, and then right after this else, all I'm going to do is uh, is set our player equip value to uh, none. So obj underscore player dot equip is equal to, we'll say none. And there we go. Okay, we're into our draw event. So I'm going to come up here, grab my draw event, and we are going to scroll down to the inventory piece, so in inventory. Come all the way down to our draw mouse with cursor, and here's our cursor being drawn, and that's doing that, that's doing that. And then finally we have this, um, we're drawing the cursor with keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, this piece of code here because we're going to use this again. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come outside of this L. See this L brace here? I'm going to come down below that. I'm going to make a new spot. I'm going to set, uh, I'm going to call this uh, draw equipped uh, slot highlight. So if the equip slot is there, it'll draw the highlighted piece. And then we're going to do if, and we want to check to see um, if the player exists, and then if the player is equipped, because we don't want this to try to run if there's no player, and we don't want it to crash if they can't find the player. So if instance exists, obj underscore player. So if the player exists, then we're going to check to see if the object player dot equipped um, variable is true. So we're just going to say if object player equipped. You could do equals true, but we could just call it as is, and that would be true. Go ahead and wrap that. 
And then inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and paste the code that I copied. Tab that over. And what we're going to change in here is this. We're going to say uh, draw set color. Right now it sets it as, as blue, so our cursor is currently blue. I'm going to have this, if it's an equip slot, it's going to be red. It's going to draw it as a rectangle, that's true. And then we need to swap out the inventory cursor X, inventory cursor Y, for the equipped uh, slot X and slot Y. So that's going to be EQP slot X, EQP slot Y. I'm going to do that again for this next one. So our X2 will have inventory X, cursor X. That's going to be EQP slot X. And then I'm going to get the slot Y. And then inventory position Y is going to be inventory cursor Y. We're going to take that, and that's going to be equipment slot Y. The rest of these are fine. And now we should be able to represent a slot if it is equipped or not. But before we can, uh, we actually have to go ahead and create this variable. No, it doesn't really exist yet. And if we tried to call it, we would get an error. So let's jump over to the player. Go into the player's create event. And I'm going to go ahead and add, an, add a variable called equipped. And I'm going to currently set that to none because there's nothing in there. And let's see. Okay, so now that I'm in, let's see if it'll work. I'm going to go ahead and open my inventory. Of course, I can click in here and nothing happens. Let's add a few objects to it. We'll see if we can select them. So I cannot select this one, this one. Can I select this? Yes. Success. And then if I click on a spot, I can deselect it, which is great. So I can equip it and then unequip. Equip, unequip. And if I equip... Clicking on these does nothing, unequip. So that's working. I'm going to go ahead and grab the other items and see if I can select the bow as well. Uh, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, but the bow works. And I can swap them out. Awesome. So that part of, the, part of this is working. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the video right here. Um, and then as we pick up the next video, we will go ahead and set up the, uh, the next component for um, the sword. And then after the sword, we'll do the bow. Okay, uh, go ahead and save what you're doing here, and I will see you in the next video.